That's when he laughed. It's a joke. Laugh. Ha 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 ha. It's a joke. Laugh. Hello vlog. It is Sunday and it has been a very long time since I have vlogged anything. So before I get into all of the details of what has happened these last few weeks, let's go back in time and see everything that has taken place over the last few weeks. Hello vlog, it is Sunday and we are at home. That is the name of this store. They have holiday decor out so our dad is living his best life and enjoying every moment of it. He's currently looking for a poster or something to decorate his house. And I am currently trying to get this allergic reaction to whatever happened to my skin last night to go away. So if I look a bit puffy or red, um, I'm not sure what caused it, but I'm having this weird allergic reaction around my mouth area. It is Monday and I'm coming at you from the very hot carport. Um, Mel is, oh, there's dad. Melissa is going to have the rest of her dental work done today and Wednesday. So I'm hanging out with my dad. We're gonna go and hit up a Ross and a few other little shops. He's looking for some clothes for his lady friend, Suyapa. So we're gonna go see what we can find, just get out of the house. It is very warm outside, but I think on Thursday, we are going to have a cool down and it's only going to be in the 90s from here on out. So that will be a blessing for sure. Outfit of the day, go. Uh, Your hat is from Goodwill, no, Goodwill. Savers. And this one is for uh, Old Navy. Old Navy. And the shorts are from Sears. Sears. The and shoes. My shoes is for Skechers. Skechers. Those new ones. Nice. nice. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Say hi to my friends in Honduras and all your friends. Thank you for follow you uh, videos and. God bless you, everybody. One of you lovely viewers left me a list of items to try to help the cherry earrings that I bought not dangle as much or be so heavy. These earrings that I have on right now are actually Mel's and they're clip-ons, so they're not really tugging or pulling at my earlobes. So I'm excited to try this because I actually did a lot of research online, looked up the different ones, and this one actually had really, really good reviews. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. I picked up a pack of these at Walmart for $4.88. They're roughly the same price on Amazon, but I didn't have to pay for shipping and I didn't have to wait. So I decided to just pick them up at Wally. -E. Now the directions say on back of earlobe, apply support patch with sticky side facing in towards the ear. Over hole and press firmly to secure. These are the little sticky patches. They're clear, you can't even see them. So these drop earrings didn't come with a backing. So I'm just using these little clear backings that Mel had, taking one of the little sticky dots. It's kind of difficult. Now we're gonna take the earring. Wow, okay. Hmm, that did not work. I'm assuming that it's not made for this type of earring because it's not, it didn't really do anything. So right now we are on our way to go to Jen Korean barbecue. Yes, I don't eat meat, but they do have um, vegetable options and like a tofu stew that looks really good. We wanted to go with our dad and we invited, um, you know, a few of our friends. We planned this with Crosby. So Crosby's the only person as of right now that's going. Our dad um, was kind of like, nah, I don't really want to go. I'm going to go walk around the mall. So he blew us off to go and walk around the mall, which is a bit disappointing because I really do think he would have enjoyed it. But we are going to try it out. If we like it, we'll take, whoa. We'll take him back next time. It sucks. Do not want Hi. This is for my future child that oh. I'm not gonna have. Okay. Yeah. We made it. Vlog. We made it. It took what two hours for us to get seated. I'm excited. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. It's so nice here. Yes. Yum. Yum. Yes. Food came. Got this. The grill is on. 
it's about to go down. Compramos la masa, hacemos la bolita, después le hacemos aquí, hacemos como un comalito, aquí, bien hecho, y ahí agarro el oroco con el quesillo, lo pongo adentro y luego lo voy cerrando, después ya cierro la bolita. La voy a haciendo más grande. Y me visita más en la primera que es la hecha. What does it taste like? It's not as thick as I would like it. Yeah. It's good. What does it, it taste like? It almost kind of tastes like a lavender one. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, so Mel and I have decided that BuzzFeed needs to hire us because we have all of these great worth it videos and video ideas. It'll definitely bring BuzzFeed viewership up. BuzzFeed, hire us. I'm not gonna give you, I'm not, Mel's panning, don't pan, don't pan, we're, this is our idea. <laughs> It is Saturday and we are in Costco. We're in Costco. We got memberships because we're adults. Oh, look who's here. Ponch Burger with the free samples all the time, every day, holding it down on the block. No, I did. No, you try it. You got another one? For you. No, I don't want it. She no one. She no one. Yeah, I know. What a This is the cake that we bought for our Game of Thrones viewing party. If you haven't tried this cake at Costco, you need to try it. It's bomb. I'm getting these. $5.99 for all of these croissants. I can make breakfast sandwiches. Yes. Three, two, one. You're on. So we are home, and as you guys saw, we finally got our own Costco card. We have been bumming off of Kroz's card and going whenever he could take us and our dad finally said that we needed to be grown-ups and get our own cards. Let's do this. The first thing that Mello's picked up was the basil pesto. This is her favorite pesto. Well, is it compared to the other one? Yeah, okay. This is her favorite pesto ever. I think this is around $8 at Costco. Um, she tries to finish it, but this is a lot of pesto and it does have an expiration date and it can get pretty rank when it expires because one time she smelled it and it was just mucho malo so um she'll have to finish that but she likes to eat it with 
croissants. So she picked up these butter croissants um, for $5.99. There are 12 of these in here and she usually gets them at Fry's and I think they're $1.29 each. So this is a better deal. She gets 12. She wants to make breakfast sandwiches to take to work and yada, yada, yada. Eat it with the pesto. This is a good combo. I don't like either of these. So in my opinion, it's not a great combo, but for her, she likes them. She also picked up this ginormous um, mushroom package. This was $3.99. $3.99 for this whole package. And that's a good deal because, you know, at the store they're hella expensive. And so this is a good deal. She likes to make egg and mushroom sandwiches with the croissants, with the pesto, all of the ingredients make a bomb breakfast sandwich. And then the last thing Mel has picked up, I think she's she's shown you guys these before. They are the crispy sea salt baked crackers. She loves these. These aren't my favorite. They don't really have a lot of flavor in my opinion, but Mellows can eat this entire bag. And so she's trying to get snackies for uh, work and stuff like that so she can take these and snack on them when she's at her trabajo. So when we were at Universal Studios, we were put up in a super nice hotel that had $3,000 beds, which I thought at one point I could afford. I can't, so I won't be buying one anytime soon. But they also had bomb.com pillows. And guess what? They had those same pillows at Costco, a twin pack for $11.99. These are the Beautyrest Black. And they are just, oh, I love pillows. I don't know if any of you are like me and just love sleeping with tons of pillows, but I did tell Melos that I would give her one of these. So I bought the twin pack so she could have one and I can have one. And I just love new pillows. I know that you can wash pillows and this might sound horrible, but I'd just rather buy new pillows. Bad, I know, but oh, I'm so excited to sleep on this tonight. Alrighty, the last and final purchase at Costco, I know you're really excited. Is it a new iPhone? Is it a new laptop? Is it a new TV? No, it's even better. 30 rolls of toilet paper. This will last us maybe a month. No, I'm kidding. It should last us a pretty long time. But this is $15.99 for the 30 pack. We just bought the Kirkland brand, so hopefully it is soft and absorbent like it claims to be on the packaging. I hate having to go and buy toilet paper. I feel like it's unnecessary, that it's a waste of money. So I'd rather spend $15.99 and have it for a while instead of $5 every two weeks. So that completes our Costco haul. I should probably be quiet because Ponch is, my dad, is sleeping on the couch like a big baby because he's tired. So I'm not really sure what we're doing right now, but we're headed to the movie theater later on to watch Baby Driver, so I'm excited. I will see you guys in a second. Out. Oh my God, I almost did a split, did you see? Look how close I am, so I almost did a split. <laughs> Hello vlog, it is Sunday and we are at the library. I came to pick up a book that I had requested. Gosh, I don't even know when. It seems like a long time ago I got the email notification that it's here. I'm also picking up a bunch of CDs for the car because I get so tired of listening to the radio and even though we have Bluetooth in our car, I don't know, I just, I'm old fashioned. I like CDs. down right here. So as you guys saw, I was absent for that first probably week and a half of vlogging because I had a very bizarre breakout all over my face, which I later found out was hormonal and stress related. But initially I went to my doctor and she told me I was having this really weird bacterial infection and it was only getting worse. It was spreading all over primarily around my nose, around my mouth, on my chin and down my neck and it just kept getting worse. 
and I was so freaked out. I didn't know what was happening, what caused it, and everything I was reading on the internet was telling me that it was like some weird chronic thing that was only going to get worse and it was probably going to take six months to go away. And I was super emotional. I didn't want to vlog. I didn't want to show my face on camera. I really didn't even want to leave the house. Punk was being super supportive and taking care of me, like really reassuring me that everything was gonna be okay because I was thinking this was like the worst thing in the world that could possibly happen to me, which it obviously was not. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my chin. Uh, that's where I think the majority of the breakout was. You can't really see anything around my nose, which is nice because I had all of these really small pimples forming everywhere. And it got to the point where my skin was so dry, so irritated and, and inflamed that I could barely open my mouth. So that's why I sought out a dermatologist who was like, hey, this isn't a big deal. It's going to go away. So I've been on an antibiotic. I've been cleansing my skin with Cetaphil, a gentle cleanser, and I can finally start using my skincare again because I wasn't able to clean my skin or put anything on it for like a week. Oh, when Punk takes over your vlogging space, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, sorry I had to cut that short. We're on our way to dinner tonight to kind of just hang out with our friends, but also to kind of celebrate something that happened these past few weeks to yours truly. So I guess if I can backtrack like as fast as I can, prior to going to Orlando, I applied for a job online that I saw that I was like, hey, I think I can do this. I want to change in my life. I'm kind of tired of doing the same thing every single day at my job. And as much as I love the people here, I have to start my professional career. Like I'm obviously getting older and YouTube isn't really like my job and I don't think of it as a job. So I'm not going to probably do that forever. And I just needed to obviously take a chance and have a new experience. So. At the same time that I was having this massive breakout, I was also going to this interview, making it to like the second interview, having this breakout, also having one of my crowns prepped, which took forever and was like an absolute nightmare. And I was so worried I was gonna break this temporary tooth that they put on. And also taking care of like all of our dad's like health related things, making sure that he was going to the doctor, setting up all of these appointments, trying to work out all of our different schedules. And so I was so extremely stressed that I just could not vlog at all. So I'm really happy to let you guys know that I did get a job. It is full time and it is going to be working in the social media realm, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, it's a new experience. It's a new opportunity for me. I actually started working last week there. I thought initially that my first day would be this upcoming week, but they wanted me to start right away. And I think it was kind of good for me because I got to spend a few days there, but I also got to have my last week at work with all of my friends and like everybody who means so much to me there, which was also very bittersweet leaving everybody. Like I did get emotional after I came home and realized like, oh, on Tuesday and on Friday, I'm not going to go back to work and see all of my friends. Like that was really hard for me. And I got, I kind of got teary eyed when I read this letter from my manager. Like I really did. I'm still a toe with acne. So thank you guys so much for watching what I think we'll be calling our September recap. Um, it's basically everything that we vlogged during the month of September. Thank you guys also for giving us the time and the space that we needed to kind of regroup. Also for all of you that reached out, worried about us. Thank you for that and the concern, we are fine. Um, but we're still kind of on the fence about what we're gonna do with this channel or I guess the scheduling, so. Yeah, let's for you now in. we think that we're going to do two vlogs a month, so they will alternate between weekends every other week. Well, every other weekend, every other Sunday, mm -hmm. it we will have a vlog and then 
on the opposite weekends we're going to do whatever videos you guys want to see so yeah. leave whatever you want in the comments down below because obviously we want to make other content besides vlogs and since we have a limited time now we want to make that instead of just trying to you know put together mm -hmm a mediocre vlog exactly we don't like doing that so we hope to continue or at least from here on out have a new video up every single sunday mm -hmm. whether it be a vlog or what some people call main channel videos or just like other videos that's what we hope to have a schedule at least a new video every single sunday hopefully we can stick to that yeah bye, bye.